Players who play on Hall of Fame or comp online games will be playing with green or miss shot timing for the ultimate challenge. But team control modes will see more forgiving shot timing so you won't have to memorize every single player's release to the exact frame to find success. So wait, does that mean that it's going to be easier to shoot? Here it is, here it is, here it is. The shot timing release time setting from NBA 2K23 has been converted to a new setting called shot timing visual cue. Ooh, if you know, you know, visual cue. What does that sound like? It's given 2K20, 2K21, and 2K22. No different shot timings? Oh yeah. Now you can set your desired release point based on whatever animation cue works best for you. This makes it much easier to play with players and teams you're not as familiar with. Advanced layups like floaters, reverses, euros, hop steps, and scoops are much more effective this year. And I'd encourage everyone to try out layup timing. It's much more forgiving for high percentage layups and also gives you the ability to finish tough circus layups in traffic if you can master it. Bro, <laughs> this is like huge news. So pretty much euros are back. Hop steps work even better. Layup timing works. So pro touch is going to be a good badge to use. And you could green your layups even through traffic. Bro, I ain't going to lie. Sounding like a good game right now. For dunkers in new gen, you can now force rim hangs from any two-hand dunk by simply keeping the sprint trigger held when the dunker grabs the rim. Down on the pro stick will give you flashy dunks, and up-down or down-up double throws will let you attempt contact dunks in traffic with the dunk meter. Meter dunks are green or miss on higher difficulty levels now, so you have to be precise to finish off the play. Bigs are going to have a lot of fun dominating in the paint in NBA 2K24. So pretty much he's saying that you're going to be dominating in the paint. I guess since they took off Limitless Takeoff, now you have to really finesse the paint buckets and you could really mash and stuff like that. Probably like standing dunks, you know, Euros, layups. So I feel like this year you probably gonna have to have a high layup. You can now branch out of any offensive rebound to a putback attempt by simply pressing the shot button after the catch. Post fades and hop shots are also really effective shots for post players, and you can definitely feel the impact of strength and weight as bigger players easily dominate weaker ones on the glass. Yo, they fixed strength. Now you can have strength and time your layups? Are you serious? Nah, 2K24 don't want this. There's no way they doing this. That's crazy. Listen, 2K24... It's going to be so fun. I could just tell because they're talking about Euro steps. Hop shots is going to be more effective. That means now you got to really guard these layups. You got to really like time the layups. And they also said that you got to time your dunks. So there's no more slightly earlies and earlies going in no more. Now you got to time your contact dunks. This is crazy. I'm not going to lie. This is dope. It's going to be less dunking, more finesse. Bro, listen. That's a big step up. I'm not even going to cap. Beautiful. Everything about offense, defense, and coaching has been streamlined to make NBA 2K24 more enjoyable for all. We can't wait for you to experience the ultra-realistic gameplay in NBA 2K24. Bro, I don't know if you peep how much updates we just had in this, like, two-minute video, bro. This is crazy. Like, this is a lot to take in right now. Mike Wang just said ultra realistic gameplay. Like what? Do you not understand what that means? Bro, realistic gameplay. Like, that's a good thing. But I'm also scared because in real life, people may contest the shots. So this sounds like it's going to be a lot of contested layups and a lot of contested shots. But you're going to have to green it. So, hey, man, hopefully it's a good balance, bro. We're going we gonna to see, man.